Wow, look at all these people that came out today. Congratulations, they are here to see us. Can you believe that? Why us? Well, I'll tell you why. This is a day of celebration. We celebrate our determination and success as students. This means more than getting that one gym credit to make it an even 21. It is a stepping stone. It is a peak in the path of life. We are off, off to great places. We are off and away. I cannot believe this day has already arrived. How fast the days fly by when our high school careers are suddenly put on the back burner as senioritis and spring fever set in. There have been many times when I should have been doing my homework, but ironically, something better came up. I often found myself thinking about the past and daydreaming about the future. And now that I look back, I cannot believe high school is all over. It seems like it was just yesterday when we first set foot in this school and the construction of the class of 1995 was underway. We started this journey coming from two different directions. We were beginning to shape our own identities as individuals and as a whole. We were losing old friends and gaining new ones. Each and every one of us was beginning to go through many changes that would continue for the next four years. Remember what it was like being a timid little freshman, mixed with new kids and trying to make new friends? Not knowing how to find your way around the school while trying to avoid walking through upper red? And for all you sports fans, can you recall the playful pranks you were part of as the seniors were following through with initiation rituals? Well, while the seniors were carrying out old rituals, we were forming some of our own. With little experience under our belts, we tackled the first wall in October of 1991, having the theme of the class of 95 keeps going and going. We adopted the Energizer Bunny as our mascot. We were introduced to competition day as the guys ran around in skirts with field hockey sticks and the girls in red football jerseys. As our sophomore year quickly approached, we gained a little more experience and figured out how to avoid the wrath of the administrators as we relocated ourselves to the lockers of our choice. The floor plan of the school had become a little more familiar and most of us were able to get to class without being lost. We attacked our second wall, coming, at, coming together at the seams to show PHS's community spirit. In the spring, members of the class made their claim to fame as we turned back time to Jukebox Saturday night. We strutted down the runway, hoping that we were not walking too fast and trying our hardest to avoid falling flat on our faces. We kept going to become the most sensational and inspirational class there was as we faced of the curse of the junior wall and took on the title of upperclassmen. With this title also came the notorious heritage paper assignment. Most of us ditched the yellow limo and took full advantage of driving to school only to find a mud pit to park in. The SATs were becoming all too familiar as we started the infamous college search. In August of 1994, we finally entered the school at the top. Coming in late and leaving early was a practice that most of us became accustomed to. We were surprised to see the new rent cops that had invaded Ed's shed. It was hard to adjust to their daily strolls down the hall checking for passes. Our schedules were a little light, most of us vying for the class with no desks, no homework, and no books also known as human organism. We had, finally <laughs> we had finally earned the privilege to park in the back of the school and sit at the senior table in the calf. It was now our turn to win the events on competition day and read the newspaper during the pep rally. Spirit Week ended with quite a surprise, but what we now refer to as the Hooter Girls scandal. For those of you... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the, world, the infamous Hooter girls showed up toting their world-renowned hot wings. We continued to deal with the stress of the SAT and were finally introduced to those horrendous college applications, a piece of paper that would decide our future. Most of us anxiously awaited till April to hear from the school of our choice. Just, as, just when we thought things were over, the English department decided to keep us on our toes with the senior exit project. Faster than we could have imagined, the prom came and brought us together for one last time before this final send-off. The anxiety level was rising along with excitement. We realized that the year was coming to an end. Where would we have been through all of this without the ever-shining light and encouragement that our advisors, Mrs. Deviza and Mr. O'Keefe, have provided? They have been a part of this long, strange trip just as much as we have. They have put in many long hours to ensure the success of the walls, fashion show, ring dance, and prom while keeping a smile on their face and ensuring the class's well-being. Our parents have also been a part of this long, strange trip, providing us with endless love, support, and encouragement. After all this, we sit here today, 
the day most of us have been looking forward to for the past four years. All our hard work and many long hours have pointed us to this day. Now that these four years are over, we can look back and see how much each and every one of us has grown and become a better person. We can look at each other and see the friendships and rivalries that have made us this special group of individuals who have managed to come this far. Today is an ending, only to be followed by a new beginning. It is a time to feel successful as well as uncertain for a whole new world is waiting for you. It is time to let go of the one undeniable factor that holds us all together as the class of 1995 and made this high school experience one we will never forget. Now it is time to move on. It is time to remember the places that we have gone and dream about the places we will go. It is time to close the old doors and open some new ones, whether it be college, the armed forces, or employment. While doing so, I hope all of you find success and happiness. Guillaume Alponer once said, come to the edge. We are afraid, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came. He pushed them and they flew. It is now time for all of you to fly and reach your highest aspirations. While doing so, turn your face to the sun so that the shadows may fall behind you. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Mrs.